Okay, uh, I'm going to talk about resource allocation, uh, scarcity, excess, and human emotions, and how human emotions kind of drive this cycle that we are have been in for thousands of years. So, when, when you see scarcity, when you see the hardship that's born out of scarcity, it creates fear, right? It, and that fear justifies greedy behaviors. It justifies the collection of excess resources. So, a lot of people think that they collect stuff, whether it's money or assets or anything, they think it's going to insulate them from the the woes of that scarcity. But the problem with this argument is that when you have too much excess, you are driving the scarcity elsewhere. And you're basically driving your own fear. And if we allow that excess, we allow that greed to reach the point where the scarcity it comes back on us, it backfires, right? This violence and these, these rising diseases, it, it's all going to backfire on us. So what's really happening is we are falling victim to our own fear of scarcity and it's driving this vicious cycle. And it's a cyclical argument, it's, it's, it's circular logic. And if we look at where this cycle started, I mean, it started thousands of years ago, right? But the thing about today is that we've had these cumulative technological advancements that have enabled us to remove the scarcity. It's enabled us to, to provide for the needs of everybody, but yet we're still in this fearful cycle of, of, uh, of greed, right? And that is driving the scarcity and our fear. So it's really, what it really is, is this a dynamic between conditional love and unconditional love. And in effect, conditional love is self-destructive in the long term. And and I expect the uh, we are in the very end of that long-term cycle. We're approaching the point where the conditional love is, is going to bite us all in the ass. So in the same way that conditional and unconditional love uh, I have a dynamic between each other, it's the same dynamic between nationalism and globalism. I mean, nationalism is, nationalism is akin to conditional love, and globalism is akin to uh, unconditional love in this case. If we continue to think that we are separate nations and we, and we stop working together, I mean, the world economy is globalizing. We cannot continue to to push these wars and these economic sanctions because it is backfiring on us. I mean, you can see this in everyday life. If you don't see it, I suggest you drive through a, a poor inner city every now and then because it will open your eyes up to the way that our, our, we're basically throwing all these resources into wars and, and, we're, and we're holding economies down, foreign economies with sanctions and it's backfiring on us, okay, whether through inflation or uh, supply chain disruptions. We need to encourage empathy over ego, okay? We need to encourage unconditional love over conditional love. Uh, we need to encourage globalization, okay, over, over this nationalism that we are so conditioned to obey. We, I mean, at the end of the day, we just need to become more aware of how our own actions affect ourselves through others. So just give that a little thought. Thanks for watching.